How the whale ended up on the beach is unclear, but through worldwide news coverage, various animal groups have been rapidly mobilized to come to the whale's aid. Here come the folks from Peter with their ever-present signs, Ziploc bags filled with veggies and plastic sandals. They march to the whale and try as hard as they can. They just don't seem to be able to move it. I guess they need some animal protein. Too bad. Greenpeace is coming, Greenpeace is coming. They sure love their dinghies. They're looking around. They're not even trying to move the whale. What's the point, they say. There are no TV crews or NPR documentarians in sight. The tree huggers are here, carrying their granola and their trees. They really want to help but can't. They're unable to let go of their charges, prisoners of their passion. So sad. Hey, look, it's Joe Geocacher coming by. He's only one person. What could he possibly do? He looks at the whale and wonders how he can get it moved. He has an idea. What's that he has in his hand? A laptop? What could he be doing with a laptop? Oh, he actually entered a cache on geocaching.com. He made it a five-star difficulty. Boy, that's going to attract attention from all over the world. Joe is hiding the cache. How are they ever going to get it? Well, you know the geocaching motto, where there's a cache, there's a way. Here they come. I think they got it figured out. They're going to move the whale. They've done it. Unbelievable. And the whale appears happy as well. Well, they have the cash and they're going to sign the log. Time to go and celebrate. Stop. Didn't you read the cash page? It says, please rehide the cash as you have found it. Okay. Not a problem. Sure. We'll do it. There we go. Just like new. Alrighty. Take care. Off to celebrate and have a beer. Yo, guys. Forgot about me? Oh well. Guess I'll catch some rays. Ugh. <sighs>